So could you tell us your general observation? Is it typical for others like me? Molier, your situation is not only typical, but it is designed like this. Serious game is designed to use technology that people are overcoming the difficulties of taking decisions. Because in the simulated story, there is no risk. So they can try out later on by replaying different personalities and they reduce the stress of the relevance of the decision. Also what is interesting is what you see here is not only that it is group work together but it's also digitally driven. So the measurement of skills is based on the decisions and each time you take these 150 decisions the story goes in a different direction and each time you replay it the story becomes slightly different and more engaging for you. I'm sure you had the second time, third time, you will much more joy in being confident. And as the system goes, it will then also reshare, replay, re, uh, remeasure, in fact, uh, your skills again and again. And uh, the other element which you mentioned is very common. Most people in business environment, they don't know about their strengths. They speculate, they say to me, I'm very good in strategic thinking, I'm very good, I need to develop my time management skills. So they have these memes or these self ideas, what they think they should be like or what they were told, but they have never been measured. So what we do here now, and this is going to be super interesting for the executives on the program from the different industries like agriculture, machinery, whom do we have as defense, for example, and also um, logistics is to see their comparison on what the strengths they have compared to 500 other Kazakh managers mm -hmm. because um, a leadership skill is also related to the specific cultural environment so what we have discovered and this could be interesting for the viewers as well is Kazakhs in general are very good and very strong compared to the international benchmark in decision making but they're poorer and lower in information gathering. And I think this is very true. <laughs> decision is taken very fast, right? Yes. But the information wasn't available. Decision about what? How many people will be on the program? How long will be the course? So the decision is taken that we do something. And uh, like this, it is possible to re-exercise and to change and to come to a more professional way of running people. So I think uh, we explained most of the aspects is there something else you would be curious to hear from me? By your help, uh, we now have an effective equipment to uh, how to define our leadership, uh, leadership skills. So, how we can continue it? Yes, this uh, gamification is a good tool to have. The way to go forward is for your institution is to build stronger connections with the business community. Also, to make it stronger internally, faculty development, pedagogical skills with digital technology, but also to offer locally driven, so for example by you and your colleagues, trainings around leadership, thoughts, modern ways of motivating people from inside with the flow theory in other areas, like for example the business community, Atameken, the Akimat, the public services, the great companies which people know from Kokshetau, Gormol Zavod, Eurasian Group, Kamaz, yes. uh, Kazrost, Altintau, all these companies are just waiting really to get local quality education from this institution. And now everything is ready, you have been trained, we have a great foundations in science and this approach uh, which does work internationally very well. So um, this is my wishes um, for the way forward. As you told, we are going to have a meeting with these companies and we are going to continue to develop this view and tool for our Akmola region. So any other wishes to our viewers? Uh, please tell something more about uh, how we can get uh, personally you and also have information about this theory and FLIGB. Well, Moldia, thank you very much for your good wishes. It's been really great developing this uh, academic and uh, training portfolio over the weeks now. The first step for anybody is to buy the book called Flow. Uh, in Russian it's Patok. You can buy it in any good bookstore here in Kazakhstan and to read it. Mm -hmm. 
If people are not interested in reading, uh, then the next step is to explore the web pages. But if they are really seriously interested in developing the future and putting some energy into finding more meaning in their work, I think it is to contact you, the institution, on how to go forward. Most importantly, however, I, th I wish to everybody that the flow be with you. May the flow be with you. Uh, dear Dr. Zoltan, thank you very much for your enthusiastic interview. We wish you success and, uh, of course, happiness. And uh, thank you very much for this motto that have finished our interview. Let's say it together one more time. Da pribudit svami patok. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.